What's up everyone, it's Tony here, and welcome back to another weekly episode on the Yacht Addiction YouTube channel. The yacht in front of us is the 2013 Sea Ray 580 Sedan Bridge. Now I've toured a couple L-Class series from Sea Ray, I've toured a few Sundancers, but I've never been on this particular model, the Sedan Bridge, so I'm very excited to check it out today. This yacht is listed for sale by Worth Avenue Yachts, and they've granted us access to do a full tour of this yacht today. This yacht can sleep up to six guests in three different staterooms. It's officially 58 feet, seven inches long, has a 16 foot beam, and has a max draft of four feet and 11 inches. Let's get started with this tour. So right at the back, you do have a hydraulic swim platform. So you could house a tender back here. And one thing I really like is the platform actually has this separated area that is fixed. So if the swim platform is lowered, you could still stand in this area and you're not in the water. Also back here, I noticed there is a massive storage compartment, perfect for all of your deck gear and cleaning supplies. You could also store some fishing gear back here. You have a little shower right here. And then I also really liked how this door can be locked flush into the wall here. So it's out of the way when it's all the way open. So obviously back here you don't have a fixed table. You could throw a freestanding table if you wanted to because you do have this row of bench seating. But you can also see all of the holders for your fishing rods. I'm assuming this is for bait. I am not a fisherman by any means. So all of you who would love to fish out there, you have to let me know if I got that right. Underneath this hatch are the engines. And you don't have teak on this deck. This is actually a teak-like. It's like a synthetic teak. It actually is pretty soft. So it's kind of cushioned. It feels really good on your feet. It still gives a really good and clean appearance. And on a boat this size, when you're not gonna have a crew, I think it makes a lot of sense sometimes to not actually have the teak because it does require a ton more of maintenance work. Back here on the grill, you have a barbecue. You have a drawer refrigerator. And then just some storage underneath. So now we're gonna head inside. You also have the JL speakers above. So welcome to the main salon of the Sea Ray Sedan Bridge. You have some seating on both sides and a table in the middle. And this is a freestanding table. So this is exactly what I was talking about. You can take this table, move it out to this area when you wanna use it out here. But obviously when you're fishing or doing other activities out there, you get that table out of the way. You have a TV right here. And then it looks like they have surround sound speakers installed on this boat. You have an electrical panel over here. Now let's keep moving forward. Because this is a sedan bridge, the helm station is actually upstairs. Down here you have your dining area. This seating area wraps around the table and you do have storage built right in. Oh my goodness, it looks like Worth Avenue Yachts left me some hazelnut chocolates, I appreciate that. Joking, obviously those are for the clients that can actually purchase this boat. But you also have some bottle storage in here. Let's take a quick peek in here. Looks like you have storage for glassware. And then here is the galley. You have your sink, a cooktop underneath. You have a couple of refrigerators. So you have plenty of cold storage and you have the convection oven slash microwave. So we're gonna head down to the cabins next. I think we'll start forward with the VIP cabin. It's a large double bed with the storage underneath. Then you have a closet here, the hatch above for some ventilation and extra natural light, a little TV up on the wall, I like how they put a tiny, tiny little storage compartment right here. It actually looks like they have storage compartments all throughout 
So it's nice to utilize all the extra space. And there's another closet and some drawers right here. So this boat does have an ensuite, but it shares duties as the day head. So there's the toilet and your sink. And then you'll obviously notice there's no shower in this room. So then you might think, oh, it's right here. But this is actually just a closet. The shower is actually kind of tucked away behind this door. Now we have another door with the shower. Let's put this back. Now the third cabin will have to share the day head because this is just a bunk room. The storage along the walls. And then in this closet you have a separate washer and dryer. It's always really nice to see, particularly on a boat this size. I know some boats come with the combo units, but I'm told those don't dry very well at all. So separate washer and dryer is always preferable. And here is the master cabin. They shifted the bed's angle so it's not parallel with the boat. And you have full standing headroom about half for basically half the room. You can see this contoured line when you walk in. So this half you have full standing headroom. There's the TV up on the wall with those surround sound speakers. And then over the bed area, you have to crouch just slightly. And then this, of course, will have its own ensuite. And it looks like you have a port for a vacuum system. It's really nice to see. So that's the interior of the Sea Ray. I actually think they did a really good job. This boat is a, I think I said it in the intro, but if I haven't, this is a 2013 Sea Ray. So let's head up to that sedan bridge. Oh, I see we're blaring the music. Hopefully we don't get a copyright strike. Up here you have twin Raymarine screens, your steering wheel, your throttle control, the autopilot, your bow and stern thruster controls, and your VHF radio. But as you can see, this is where you drive the boat from. You have a very commanding view. You can see the bench right behind it. And then they do have the clear plastic protection on this area. So you can basically close off this area for the most part. In the front, you'll see that they have it open. It's actually folded up. So you could close this area off if you wanted to. You have another refrigerator and an ice maker. You have a little sink as well. So you have a nice little bar section up here and another U-shaped seating area that wraps around this table. There is a hard top overhead. And obviously you have the bow area up front if you want to lay out in the sun on those sun pads. Let's go check those out in person. Now the decks aren't extremely wide, but there are handrails on both sides. Here is that large sun pad I was talking about. We're not going to open these up right now because we are at the show, but presumably you have storage for the anchor chain and possibly some fender storage. Now, if you want to see a profile of this boat, make sure you stick around to the end because I will walk off the boat and walk around trying to capture the profile from all sides. So stay tuned for that if you're interested. But now we just need to check out the engine room. 
but if you look, the engines will be forward and down. And this specific yacht comes with a pair of MAN 900 CRM V8s. They're 861 horsepower each. Giving you a top speed of 37 knots. It's very fast. You can cruise at 30 and get maybe 300 to 350 nautical miles of range. All depends on the conditions and your speed. So, like I said, I am gonna do a quick walk around showing you the profile, but if you're not interested in that, thank you so much for watching and thank you to Worth Avenue Yachts for letting me do the tour. I'm gonna link this boat down in the description if you wanna see it in greater detail. We'll catch you next time, or if you're sticking with me, let's walk around this boat. Really quick, you also have an integrated boarding ladder right on the back of the swim platform. So there is the first side of the profile. You can get a beautiful look at the lines of this boat. I know a lot of you really like sea rays, so let me know what you think of this one in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you next time.